1,400 metres for the second last here at uh, Sha Tin. Class 3 company once more, and we have 11 heading to post, headed by Lobo's legend. Both him and Taking Aim drop into, or back into this uh, class. Taking Aim is a two-time winner in this grade. Hello, Daddy. Big prize when running third uh, to Fantastic Show last time out. He'll jump from barrier number, number 11. Smoothies was a course and distance winner back three starts, picking also one course and distance three starts back. He was runner-up to Fantastic Show last time out. Chikorita gets up in trip from the 12 to the 1400 metres. Kying Excellence, uh, third to Team Power last time out, who comes up in class on the back of that win. And triple, triple, another course and distance win that came back uh, on International Day in December. Picking Team Power and Triple Triple are the horses that have been up at Chung Fa Tom in the last month. Horses going forward here, the likes of the Smoothies, he's pretty much, pretty much a lock for uh, going forward here. Kai Ying, excellent. Uh, last time out had gate number four and was well back, but uh, could be handier from uh, gate number seven, potentially, if they opt to roll forward. Now, Hello Daddy actually led last time out. Team Power should be just behind them. Taking Aim is first up from a new stable. Uh, Douglas White now the trainer of uh, Taking Aim. Lobo's legend has finally drawn a gate after 11, 13, 14, 12, 13. Got gate number two. So he should get a nice run, and here he is, Lobo's legend. He's under a good hold as he comes down. Look, the horse has been going well from some of those bad draws. Uh, look, he looks in good order here, and he's downgraded. He's back into class three again, so uh, not bad from him. Smoothies, this horse is going really well. Uh, and look, he's uh, got uh, going to get the apprentice claim. He's going to be rolling along in front. So a lot of positives, I thought, around Smoothies. His last uh, couple runs have been very, very good. And uh, Triple Triple comes in at the lightweight here as well. Another one who's been there. Had a good season to date. Uh, he's got this wide draw to contend with, um, but he has got the apprentice claim to offshoot that. All right. Okay. Let's start off with Taking Aim, who was a course and distance winner last uh, season, twice in actual fact. And Zach Purton was on board for one of those wins. He jumps back on board here for Douglas White. We're looking at his last start effort, though, Tom, behind Seattle Choice. It wasn't a bad effort. It's been a good form race as well because you've got buddies there on the inside and to assimilate to out wider in the blue blinkers who was able to uh, get a win on the board uh, last weekend as well. He, he boxed on uh, fairly on this occasion. He's had a quiet barrier trial since with uh, Zach on board. Uh, Zach and Douglas are still yet to team up for a victory from their eight times. They've had four seconds. He last won off 80. Here he is off 79. So um, he's certainly got a chance in the race that's taking aim. Yeah, new stable, isn't he? Now Douglas White. Look, I didn't like the way he dropped out there, though. So, I mean, with Zach on, you're probably going to have to take unders as well. OK, we'll move on then. Uh, this is uh, Smoothies and Triple Triple running behind uh, Mighty Giant last amounts. The form looks strong. As far as that's concerned, Paul. Yeah, and I really like this horse, Smoothies. I think he's he's a really nice horse. He can get rolling out in front, and he's a hard horse to get past. Now, he's going to have um, the apprentice claim as well, so that's going to bring him down to a rating which is uh, less than he was when he won. He got run down by a really good horse here in Mighty Giant, but I thought he stayed on nicely for second. So he's my idea of the winner in this. Yeah, he was quite one pace you could see there over the final stages was uh, Smoothies. I've got him as my uh, Quinella horse in the race. He'll roll along in front of it and he'll probably try and pinch that break like he did last time out. OK, picking one three starts back, then probably had excuses after that, but uh, this was a better effort behind Fantastic Show with Hello Daddy at big odds and uh, High Rise Soldier needs to improve, Tom. Yeah, Pickens has been uh, going fairly well. He was able to win that uh, run three starts ago with Joe Marrera on board. He had Derek Lung on board last time out and really lifted late, only beaten a length and a quarter behind Fantastic Show, another really informed horse. Hello Daddy with the race of his life here in Hong Kong, but not sure what they're going to do from gate number 11. And the other horse in the race as well that was getting home quite nicely there over the final stages... Um, was a high rise soldier. He was well back there, I should say, but look, he's got some ability. He just missed out last time out, but he had been fairly consistent prior to that. Yeah, they did finish in a bunch behind a Fantastic Show, didn't they, uh, with those horses? So look, I'm not too sure about the form in it. OK, all right. Well, we'll, uh, we'll keep moving with uh, Team Power. Uh, it was a solid win here, Tom, beating uh, Kai Ying Excellent. It's a little bit of a turnaround at the weights. They both come up in class. Yeah, I really like Team Power here. Look, he was going for that uh, gap uh, there on the outside of Speed Fei Fei. The gap wasn't there, so he had to switch down uh, to the inside. Probably lost a little bit of momentum in doing so, but really attacked the line strongly here to, uh, to win on this occasion. He went round it to 9.1. He's at 14 and 5.5. I'm not sure if that price is going to hold up, but stepping up in grade, down in weight, I think he's a big player here with Chad Schofield and Ricky Yu. Uh, just really like him here. Yeah, he's my Quinella horse in the race. I think he's going well. I think he's up to Class 3. All for some pools is running earlier on in the day, so we might be able to get a little bit of a guideline through him. But he does look very progressive, does Team Power. 
All right, again, I can't believe that price at this point, but I think Tom's right, it might shorten up. Who do we like then, uh, Paul, here in the second last? I'm going to go with Smoothies. I think uh, Smoothies can get to the front, he can dictate and be very hard to beat in this. So I, I really like uh, Smoothies. I think he's a nice progressive horse and he gets the seven pound claim. Alfred Chan can rate these front runners pretty well. So he's on top, Team Power. Now he comes up in grade uh, just with this um, uh, light weight as well. Chad Schofield, barrier three, probably be two pounds over, but still. He's going to have a nice uh, lightweight, and I think he's going to be tough uh, to beat. So four to beat ten is my idea. The Quinella here, triple triple be, has been going pretty well recently, and uh, he's up into this class, class three. He, he ran seventh. We saw that behind Mighty Giant last time, but I still think uh, there is a win for him in class three. And Lobo's Legend in there for fourth. Now he's been running pretty good races uh, recently from wide draws. He's going to get his opportunity from a lower draw. Has to carry the weight. That was the only query. So he's in there for fourth. Four, ten, eleven, and one. You're really keen on Team Power, like what he did to last time out to win. He's had to four starts for a couple of second placings as well, along with that to win last time out. They can go close. Chad Schofield putting up probably two extra pounds. He is going to get down to a lighter weight earlier in the day, Chad Schofield, to hopefully 116. He's only done that once this season. So 10 on top, Team Power to beat four smoothies. If you like the Quinella there, it's currently 13 to 1. Lobo's Legend's been in the low 80s as a rating for the last year basically since uh, July so he's finally got down to uh, 80 and gets that class drop and taking aim number two goes in on a minor line so 10 4 1 and 2 but happy to best bet the 10. I've gone team power as well I think that's probably the popular cue here is the 10 and the 4 the 4 and the 10 whichever way you look at it so uh, hello daddy does interest me didn't quite work him into the numbers but that was a huge run he was neck and neck with Wellington all the way down the straight there on his last start if you can reproduce that from barrier 11 he might be worth a, uh, a second look as well. But that's uh, race number 9, 10 and 4, 4 and 10, the queue for this three here on the show. One more race to go then. Um, race number 10 plus all the best bets. That comes up next.